Hi, I'm Congresswoman Sharice Davids. I am the author of Sharice's Big Voice. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about my book. Uh, it's a book that tells the story of my path to Congress. And uh, though the focus isn't about becoming a politician, it is about uh, every child finding their own path, you know, whatever that might look like. Uh, it's about every child finding their big voice. And, um, you know, the book covers lessons I learned through uh, really some of my ordinary experiences, things like talking too much in school, watching my mom progress through her career and being inspired by her. You'll see a bit about my educational journey and because I worked the entire time I was going through school, uh, just what kind of lessons that taught me. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to write the book because I think it's really important for kids to see um, how people find their footing and their path and that uh, it's, it's really important for you to, to be true to yourself uh, on your journey. And, you know, I, I recognize I wasn't a perfect kid and, and nobody is and um, that we learn a lot uh, through that. And, um, you know, particularly when it comes to uh, Pride Month, I think it's really important um, that we've got stories out there for our uh, young LGBTQ and plus community uh, to, to look to. And I think Sharice's Big Voices um, is really about a kid who was uh, learning and listening and um, in a lot of ways, uh, figuring out ways to celebrate um, their authentic selves. And, um, you know, I think it would have been great to have uh, more books influencing um, me through my childhood and growing up. Um, and I think about uh, ways that we can help contribute to that. Um, you know, after this last year that we've had, I think it, it's uh, really important that folks figure out ways to be able to, to celebrate um, what Pride Month can be, what the LGBTQ plus community has to offer and, um, and what we can contribute to, uh, to uh, the ways that our society is progressing and moving forward. And, um, you know, I think that celebrating each other, celebrating ourselves, um, and then celebrating uh, our, our youth is definitely one of those uh, things that we can do. Um, when I think about ways that we can help get folks informed, that we can help um, our young people learn more, it's really important to uh, engage in those hard conversations. Sometimes uh, conversations don't happen because uh, folks aren't really sure how to start them. And I think that um, being intentional and bringing groups together uh, to have conversations, maybe it starts because uh, folks have uh, read a book, um, uh, particularly children's books can sometimes be really helpful in getting people, um, getting that door open to those conversations. Um, and then, you know, I think about the ways that uh, our communities um, need to be represented and, and thought about uh, from the perspective of uh, uh, civic engagement. You know, when we see that the LGBTQIA plus community is more represented in Congress now um, and state legislators and um, school boards and that sort of thing than ever before, uh, that can have a really big impact on our youth and, and what they see in the future for themselves. Um, again, not because everybody uh, should uh, read this type of book or, um, or think about civic engagement as uh, the only path to making a difference, but because uh, the broader the opportunity people see when they're young, uh, the more likely they're going to be able to find something that, that they will thrive in. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, that's one of the things that I hope uh, we can convey in this book is that no matter what your path is, whether you want to run for Congress or school board, or you want to be an artist, or you want to uh, go into transportation and infrastructure, uh, if you're doing the thing that uh, helps you thrive and helps you find your big voice, it will be um, so much more impactful and all of us will be better off for it.